Hi, in this part, let's see a few more multiple choice questions in microbiology. So, starting with the first one, opsonization is by IgA, IgE, IgG and IgM. So, we have four options here. So, first, let's see what opsonization is. So, opsonization is a process by which there is enhancement of phagocytosis by means of coating antigenic particles by the so-called opsonin antibodies. So the opsonin antibodies include IgG, IgM and in the complement pathway, the complement particle which is involved in opsonization is C3B. So Opsonization, as I said, is a process where there is enhancement in phagocytosis and the antibodies involved in opsonization are IgG as well as IgM. So we have two options here which are right answers. Okay. Now, moving on to the next question. Antigen combining site of antibody is idiotope, paratope, epitope, haptin. Now let's see these terms. So that part of antibody where the antigen comes and binds is considered to be paratope for example consider this as antibody and then we have antigen so that part of antibody which binds with the antigen is called as paratope right and that part of antigen which binds with antibody is called as epitope okay so the answer here is antigen combining site of antibody is called as paratope right and coming to hapten hapten is nothing but an inactive antigen which is not capable of inducing any immunological response right now moving on to the next question, complement binding immunoglobulin via the classical pathway is, so we have various antibodies given in options. So in complement activation there are actually two pathways, one is classical pathway, so we have classical pathway in complement system and we have something called as alternative pathway. So this classical pathway of complement system is activated at C1 whereas alternative pathway is activated at C3A and the antibodies which are initiating this classical pathway are IgG and IgM whereas the antibodies initiating the alternative pathway IgA right so this is about classical versus alternative complement pathways so coming to the question the complement binding immunoglobulin via the classical pathway is IgG and IgM so here we have the options IgG and IgM right whereas IgA is associated with stimulating the alternative classical pathway at C3A site right and now moving on to the next question Cleavage of IgG molecule by papain gives rise to. So first, let's see the options also. We have one FC fragment and two FAB fragments, one FC and four FAB fragments, two FC and two FAB fragments, two FC and one FAB fragment. So first, let's see the structure of an IgG antibody, right? So as I said, any antibody has two light chains and two heavy chains. So these lateral aspects are the light chains whereas the central two chains are heavy chains and these heavy chains as I have discussed in the previous video are bound together by disulfide bonds right. So as you can see you have three domains here two here and one here so these two domains are called called as FAB and this domain is called as FC 
So these FAB domains, which are two in number, are responsible for antigen binding. So they form the sites where antigen binds to the immunoglobulin. Whereas FC is that domain which is influencing the immunological response and it is this fragment which crystallizes during the process. So it's called as FC. So when we expose these antibodies to some kind of proteolytic enzymes like pepsin or pepine, then there can be cleavage of these domains and the resultant products include two FAB domains and one FC domain. So now let's see the question again. Cleavage of IgG molecule by pepine gives rise to, so as we can see there we have formation of one FC and two FAB fragments, right? Hope it's clear. Now moving on to the final question, secondary response is mediated by IgG, IgA, IgM and IgE. So as I have discussed in the previous videos, the first formed antibody or the oldest immunoglobulin is IgM and it is short lived because of its very low half life and after that the secondary response is being mediated by IgG antibody, right? So the option IgG is the right answer here and IgG has a greatest half-life around 23 days or one month and it is considered to be the major serum immunoglobulin accounting for around 75 to 80 percent of all immunoglobulins right so that mediates a secondary response so these are few model questions and few important aspects and to summarize we can see that there is something called the opsonization and opsonin antibodies include IgG and IgM and we have the sites of antigen and antibody which are called as epitope and paratope respectively and then we should know the differences between classical pathway and alternative pathway in complement system and what are all the antibodies being involved in those respective cycles and then most importantly understanding the structure of IgG where it contains two light chains and two heavy chains and we have three domains two FAB domains and FC domain and these heavy chains are bound together by disulfide bonds. So these are few multiple choice questions and the relevant points.